buddies Adam at Flash Building here with another Fireworks CS4 tutorial and this one is a forum request from one of our site members and his request is how to punch out using his custom swooshes that he learned how to make in one of our other tutorials in Fireworks punch out from bitmap and you can also punch out from a regular stock rectangle or any shape that you draw out one of our forum members JL with that cool ass double headed dragon picture is uh, requesting to know how to change a custom shape into a marquee that way he can cut out a background and uh, he writes hi Adam I just checked out your tutorial on creating swooshes in fireworks you're absolutely right him saved me loads of time in Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator can you tell me of having converted the swoosh to path to marquee it's possible to erase the background so I'm left with a swoosh shape hole in the background layer thanks very much John okay John what we're gonna do is we're in fireworks here and I have a couple of custom swooshes let me get rid of those first let me tell you what I've got here we got a little background image a uh, rectangle with the gradient and that's just to show contrast once we punch out and here we have a custom shape it's just a rectangle that I drew out and here we have a bitmap image it's probably what you're talking about something that you'd want to cut out but I'm going to show you how to do both okay so let's grab a spiral tool drag it out let's zoom in by holding control and mouse wheeling let's adjust the spirals to get it to have the look we want now eh, right about there now let's go ahead and press control C control V and I didn't show this in the last lesson but this is an e easier method an even easier method of creating thick swooshes you just put the one on top the one we copied and pasted on top of the original you just modify its spirals see how much easier that is it's so easy it's so easy anybody can do it okay so let's click the pen tool now click this edge come around here let's click that edge now let's give it a black fill and no no uh, border or no outline now we have our shape here okay let's press control C control V to make a copy of that and drag it over to where we want to cut out over here and this is my buddy Shane and I have rights to display this picture he told me he said go ahead Adam use my picture he said put your swirly up my nose cut, cut out my head that's what I'm gonna do okay so let's uh, for this one is very easy you just keep it as a path and here is another rectangle the rectangles so these are basically two paths so you highlight both of them go to modify combine paths and punch so that's how you effectively punch out a custom shape that you make out of a rectangle that's just a a a, uh, a default shape in fireworks that you draw out just a rectangle or any shape but it has to be a path shape okay so now with this one you just go to modify convert path to marquee and that addresses your question and you can go to three options here anti-alias hard or feather I'm gonna go with anti-alias I'm going to press OK now I can use my mouse not my mouse my keyboard arrow keys to move this thing around and position it before it gets cut out I'm gonna show you a little trick here you can use both pieces if you just at this point you can press control X or you can just grab it and move it you see that let's put it over here that's it now you didn't have to keep this piece but if you happen to want to keep this little piece then you can to use in some kind of cool graphics that you're making slicing things out and uh, if you don't want it you could have just pressed control X and if at this point you want to get rid of it just erase it that's it there you go and you can see how we've effectively cut out using custom shapes out of a bitmap and out of a little stock shape in fireworks 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that one, and we'll see you next lesson.